Hello everyone! As the new episodes of Heartland Season 16 come weekly, a new love story unfolds slowly. Although the sixth episode marked the second time we saw Finn in Season 16, we're now more sure about his feelings for Amy and Amy's feelings in return. They are definitely in love. Let's walk you through what happened in this episode and why we think Amy and Finn are definitely going to date. First of all, in this episode, Amy was dealing with a Zorse, an animal that's the offspring of a zebra and a horse. The Zorse was one of the animals left at an abandoned zoo, and since Amy is an expert with horses, she wanted to help rehome him. But this wasn't an easy task. This animal was wild and not ready to interact with humans and other animals. Amy tried her best and even got the help of Logan, Parker, and another woman who wanted to take him home. But the best support came from Finn, who heard about the Zorse and wanted to help Amy. He offered to clean his hooves and said that could be one of the reasons why the Zorse looked unhappy. He cleaned the hooves, which helped the animal, who immediately started to act calmer. When Amy asked him why he wanted to help, Finn said the Zorse was stuck between two worlds and that he understood what that felt like. So that's why he wanted to help the poor animal. What does this mean? Why does Finn feel like he is stuck between two different worlds? We believe this is a reference to the fourth episode of this season, where we saw him for the first time this season. There he talked about his family but didn't mention who they were. We are starting to believe that Finn has some sort of a secret family that he hides from Amy. Maybe he is already married but does not talk about it with anyone. At the same time, he keeps coming back to Hudson, where Emmy is. So maybe he wants to be with Amy, but there is a secret that keeps holding him back. He had just left Hudson without saying a word and later claimed that it was a family emergency. But we never learned what that emergency was about or what kind of a family this man got other than his grandfather, whom he claimed to be his only family. We wouldn't be surprised if this were some great secret because the man is a total mystery and when Jack said Amy shouldn't be trusting Finn and his family, was that a foreshadowing? We definitely feel like we'll learn more about Finn in the rest of the season, but we are sure that Amy will get hurt. Because more and more, we feel like Amy is drawn to Finn. At the end of the episode, there was a moment where both Amy and Finn were looking at the Zorse. They were standing away from each other, but both glanced at the other for a short moment. And that glance told a lot. That wasn't how two friends looked at each other, it definitely wasn't how Caleb or Sam looked at Amy. We know that eyes never lie and the eyes of these two have never been more honest. Also, Jessica's photo of Amy and Finn was shown two or three times throughout the episode. It felt like they are preparing us for the idea of the two together. And when Tim was looking at their photo, he seemed happy. So maybe he will approve of this relationship. We'll see. The last point we want to talk about is related to the Zorse. Amy decided to let the Zorse run free on the green pasture near the youth center because she believed he couldn't be tamed. But Logan didn't want him to be alone, so he let his own horse, Challenge, go with him. The two animals immediately bonded and ran freely on the pasture. We couldn't help but feel like this scene symbolized something. The Zorse was stuck between two worlds, but with the help of Amy, he was set free into the wild, meaning he wasn't stuck anymore. He was right where he belonged. While watching this, Finn might have also realized he was right where he belonged with Amy. This realization could make him open up to Amy and discuss his feelings. And the fact that in the end, Challenge went with the Zorse meant that the Zorse wasn't going to be alone. So Finn is not going to be alone. Amy will join him and the two will be together. Although we know Robert Cormier's death will not allow the relationship to be long, we still believe they will spend some nice time together before the relationship goes south. What did you think about this episode? Do you see a future between Amy and Finn? How do you think Robert Cormier's death will affect Finn's future in the show? Leave your comments in the section below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to our channel for similar videos. See you soon.